the world's most humble president. Jose Alberto Pepe Mujica Cardona. Born 20 May 1935 as a Uruguayan politician and farmer who served as the 40th president of Uruguay from 2010 to 2015. He has been called the world's poorest president because he donates around 90% of his $12,000 monthly salary to charities to help poor people and small entrepreneurs. He donated most of his salary as president to charity and the only possession he had when he took office in 2010 was his 1987 Volkswagen Beetle. The light blue beetle became so famous that he was offered $1 million, 780,000 pounds, for it in 2014. But he declined because he claimed he wouldn't be able to carry his three-legged dog without it. I'm known as the poorest president, yet I'm not poor. Poor people are individuals who just work to support an affluent lifestyle and who are constantly seeking more and more, he stated. This is a matter of freedom. If you don't have many possessions then you don't need to work all your life like a slave to sustain them. And therefore you have more time for yourself, he says. Mujica, who comes from a poor Italian immigrant family, had a rebellious childhood. He joined the revolutionary group MLN Tupamaros, MLNT, in 1966 after being involved in politics with the National Party. A former guerrilla with the Tupamaros. He was imprisoned during the military dictatorship in the 1970s and 1980s. He was shot six times and spent 14 years in jail. Most of his detention was spent in harsh conditions and isolation until he was freed in 1985 when Uruguay returned to democracy. In 1985, he was released from a political prison. These experiences throughout life influenced his perspective and way of life. A member of the Broad Front Coalition of Left-Wing Parties, Mujica was Minister of Livestock, Agriculture, and Fisheries from 2005 to 2008 and a senator afterwards. As the candidate of the Broad Front, he won the 2009 presidential election and took office as president on 1 March 2010. Mujica is also a vegetarian who actively supports initiatives that promote the use of renewable energy sources such as wind and biomass. But there are also controversial policies such as the legalization of marijuana and abortion. Uruguay became the first country in the world to legalize marijuana from its sale, cultivation, and distribution in 2013 under Mujica's leadership. This initiative is part of the Uruguayan government's efforts to reduce drug-related violence. Until now, the Mujica administration seeks to manage current market needs through legal procedures. He also prefers a farmhouse to the presidential palace. In fact, the state provides luxurious living space in the ancient Prado district's century-old presidential palace complex. Mr. Mujica's resignation letter did not come as a surprise as he had announced that he would send it during his last appearance in the Senate on 3 August. Mujica resigned from his seat as a senator, which he has held since 2015. His term as a senator was supposed to end in 2020 but he decided to resign sooner due to tiredness after a long career. He also rejected a pension as a senator. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.